Yum, 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 cake. Take the cake. How to take the cake to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Hornells from here. Also known as Pajama Grandma. Up at the Echo Week Cabin this week. Uh, celebrating, celebrating actually my birthday. And my sister made me this amazing birthday cake, but I didn't want to bring it downstairs and show it. It was too big and too pretty. And if I wrecked it, she might not be too happy with me. It's a three layered checkerboard cake. So one of my favorite things with, of course, sea salt caramels on top yay so take the cake what does take the cake mean and where does the expression come from and how can you use it to grow and build the business of your dreams the business that you want the business that you love well take the cake of course means to um, earn or get the best prize the highest award the best prize and for thousands of years this expression and cakes have been used for prizes as awards Back in the ancient Greek times, the person that stayed up all night and partied with everybody was awarded with a cake. In the 1800s, it was the popular prize for dance contests, and the winning dance was actually called a cakewalk. When you're a kid, I don't know about you, but when we were kids for fundraisers for church and school, we would have uh, cakewalks where you would listen to music and you'd walk around either like in musical chairs or on paper plates usually and whoever landed on a special plate at the end of the song would be awarded with a cake or cookies or some kind of a prize um, so what does this have to do with our businesses obviously it's an expression that's been around for a long time and awards and cert certifications and prizes and degrees and testimonials and case studies are all things that increase our credibility and I guess demonstrate our trustworthiness um, for our next or future or current customers and clients. It encourages people to do business with us because they know that we've actually gone through and been awarded by other people, which is social proof, um, that we can do what we say we can do, that we're able to prove and do and get results for other people or solve problems for other people. And that's usually why most of our businesses exist, to solve some kind of a problem or to provide some kind of a service for people to make their life easier, either faster, easier, more efficient, or more effective, but so that they can free their time up, which is all of our most valuable resource, to do other things or to do things that they enjoy doing more. So how do you take the cake in order to supersize and grow your business? Well, you collect these things. You Number one, you, you perform really, really well for your customers. You give them an awesome experience. You get their stories and their testimonies. You get and collect the results that they've got. There's nothing more fun than sharing people that you've helped success stories. Yeah, making money is fun. We all wanna grow our businesses and supersize our businesses and make a lot of money, but that is not nearly as rewarding and as long lasting as the people that we help with the things that we do. So the cert certifications, the awards, the degrees, the testimonies, the case studies, all of those not only make us feel good, but they also really provide a great service for the people that we serve. Sit, go out, make an absolutely amazing day. I'm gonna go sneak and eat this coffee cake, and then later I'm gonna have birthday cake. So have an amazing day. Good morning, Amanda. And I will, of course, be with you all tomorrow with another interesting idiom. What does it mean? Where does it come from? And even if it's not impacting you personally and you've never even heard it before, chances are if it's been around for thousands of years, it's impacting people that you interact with on a regular basis. And that in and of itself makes it important and worth knowing. All right, have an awesome day, and I will see you with you tomorrow.